This is Optimal Living Daily, episode 730, Five Things We All Need to Hear This Time of Year, part two, by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com, and I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Sunday. Welcome to the podcast where I simply read blogs to you for free, like a gigantic ongoing audiobook with many different authors with permission from them. Today's post being a continuation from yesterday. But before we get to the post, this episode is brought to you by LinkedIn Learning, the online learning platform with thousands of expert-led video tutorials to help you build your business, tech, and creative skills. LinkedIn Learning now features content from lynda.com, the leader in online learning for the past 20 years. For a free 30-day trial, visit linkedin.com slash optimal and start achieving more today. Again, today's post is part two from yesterday, so if you're new here, you'll probably wanna hear yesterday's episode first, but if you're all caught up, let's get right to it and continue optimizing your life. Five Things We All Need to Hear This Time of Year, Part 2, by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. Angel and I are no different. This time of year sometimes gets the best of us too. Our solution? Keeping things in perspective. We proactively feed ourselves the right reminders to ease our aching minds and redirect our energy effectively. We challenge you to remind yourself too. Number one, you are not alone. Don't be scared to let someone special in when you're in a dark place. You know who this person is. Don't expect them to solve your problems. Just allow them to face your problems with you. Give them permission to stand beside you. They won't necessarily be able to pull you out of the dark place you're in, but the light that spills in when they enter will at least show you which way the door is. Above all, the important thing to remember is that you don't have to face hard times by yourself. No matter how bizarre or embarrassed or pathetic you feel about your own situation, there is someone in your life who has dealt with similar emotions and who wants to help you. When you hear yourself say, I'm alone, it's just your mind trying to sell you a lie. Don't buy it. Turn to those who love you and let them in, even if there's nothing to say. Number two, you are not who you used to be, and that's okay. Life often leads us on journeys we would never go on if it were up to us. Don't be afraid. Have faith, believe, believe in yourself through hard times, believe in your capacity to heal, believe that the answers are out there waiting, believe that life will surprise you again and again, believe that the journey is the destination, believe that it's all worth your while. Yes, you've been hurt, you've gone through numerous ups and downs that have made you who you are today. So many things have happened, things that have changed your perspective, taught you lessons, and forced your spirit and soul to grow. See the beauty in this, appreciate your progress, give yourself credit for the resilience and how far you've come. You've lived, you've learned, you've survived all your bad days and you're still here growing. Number three, this is the beginning. Everything in life, every situation and every relationship has to come to an end eventually. It's important to appreciate and accept the end of an era to walk away sensibly when something has reached its inevitable conclusion. Letting go, turning the page, moving forward, etc. It doesn't matter what you call it. What matters is that you leave the past where it belongs so you can make the best of the life that's presently available to be lived. This ending is not the end. It's just your life beginning again in a new way. It's a point in your story where one chapter fades into the next. To a great extent, this happens to us constantly. It's happening right now. Every single day, we have to accept the fact that things will never go back to how they used to be and that this ending is really the beginning. This concept might be tough to accept sometimes, but it's always the truth. Life is endless impermanence and it's beautiful. It means nothing is really behind you. It means life always begins now, right now, not tomorrow or the next day or the next. And it means you can have the fresh start you want whenever you want. So be humble, be teachable. The world is always bigger than your momentary view of the world. Right now, there's plenty of room for a new idea, a new step, a new beginning. Note, Angel and I discuss this in more detail in the happiness chapter of 1,000 Little Things Happy Successful People Do Differently. Number four, in your present response is your greatest power. The goal isn't to get rid of all your negative thoughts, feelings, and life situations. That's impossible. The goal is to change your response to them. The first step, anchoring yourself in the present. Because no matter what, you can always fight the battles of today. 
It's only when you add the infinite battles of yesterday and tomorrow that life gets overly complicated. The easiest way to find presence and change your immediate response is to start by evaluating the tension in your body and posture. In fact, I bet you can find some kind of tension in your body at this very moment. For me, it's often in my neck, but sometimes it's in my back and shoulders. Where does this tension we feel come from? We're resisting life in some way. Perhaps we're disheartened by the truth, frustrated at our circumstances, or overwhelmed by the road ahead. And our mental resistance generates a tension in our bodies and unhappiness in our lives. Therefore, Angel and I often recommend this simple strategy to our core students who are struggling to relieve themselves of their resistance and tension. Locate the tension in your body right now. Notice what you're resisting and tensing up against. It might be a situation or person you're dealing with or avoiding. Relax the tense area of your body. Deep breath and a quick stretch often helps. Face the same situation or person, but with a relaxed body in mind. Repeat this practice as often as needed to make it a small daily ritual. Face the day with less tension and more presence. Change your mode of response from one of struggle and resistance to one of peace and acceptance and see how doing so changes your life. Note, Angel and I build small, life-changing rituals with our students in the goals and growth module of getting back to happy. And number five, you don't have everything you want, but you have enough to move forward. What if you woke up tomorrow with only the things you were thankful for today? Seriously, look around and be thankful right now for your health, your family, your friends, and your home. Nothing lasts forever. And even in times of uncertainty, even when life seems far from perfect, it's always important to keep the simple things in perspective. You are alive. You didn't go to sleep hungry last night. You didn't go to sleep outside. You had a choice of what clothes to wear this morning. You haven't spent a minute in fear for your life. You know someone who loves you. You have access to clean drinking water. You have access to medical care. You have access to the internet. You can hear this. Some might say you are incredibly wealthy and privileged. So remember to be thankful for all the things you do have. Let your enthusiasm rise from the doldrums by seizing the very real and present opportunity you have to be appreciative. Breathe it in and then do your best to take the next smallest step forward. You just listened to part two of the post titled Five Things We All Need to Hear This Time of Year by Mark Chernoff of markandangel.com. And this episode is brought to you by LinkedIn Learning, now featuring content from lynda.com, the leader in online learning for the past 20 years. LinkedIn Learning is for problem solvers, for achievers, for people who wanna make things happen. Maybe you wanna master Excel, overcome procrastination, or design a website. Everything you need to accomplish more is on LinkedIn Learning. If you're looking to lead a more productive and efficient life, LinkedIn Learning has courses on overcoming procrastination, time management foundations, and personal effectiveness They also offer quick tip courses for software like Outlook, Excel, and QuickBooks to boost your productivity. LinkedIn Learning has courses for all experience levels, covering a wide range of technical skills, creative techniques, business strategies, and more. And overcoming procrastination is probably the most common problem I hear from listeners of this show, so I checked out the Overcoming Procrastination course, and it's great because Brenda Bailey Hughes is an expert and passionate about teaching. She's faculty with the Kelly School of Business, and she goes over the reasons why we procrastinate, and you can learn at your own pace, going either from start to finish or skipping around. It's up to you. There are no hidden charges or upsells. You can access all the courses you want, all for one monthly price. It's available worldwide. Learn from anywhere from your computer, tablet, or mobile device. We've got a special deal for you. You can get a free 30-day trial with LinkedIn Learning today by visiting linkedin.com slash optimal. That's linkedin.com slash optimal, all lowercase. And we thank them for sponsoring this podcast. I'm gonna leave it there for today. So have a very happy Sunday and I'll see you tomorrow, most likely for Minimalist Monday, where your optimal life awaits. Hey, this is Dan from the Optimal Finance Daily Podcast, which is a lot like this show, except more focused on personal finance. Justin handpicks the best posts he can find from blogs and authors like Ramit Sethi, Mr. Money Mustache, and more. And I read them to you five days a week. So if you enjoy this podcast, come on over and subscribe to Optimal Finance Daily too. And together, we'll optimize your financial life. 
You've been listening to Optimal Living Daily. Be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on each new episode and head to oldpodcast.com. That's oldpodcast.com for a free gift as well as more actionable tips and resources to help you maximize your potential. Thanks for joining us. And remember, your optimal life awaits.